I've said over and over and over again that black people are cursed, not all but most, and that everything they touch turn to dust. They destroy everything. And it, look around you, you'll see it for yourself. They're destroying police departments. They're destroying the government. They're destroying businesses. They are having fights everywhere now. It's, it's, it's not uncommon anymore to see blacks fighting either white people or themselves, black-on-black -black crime through the roof. And if not all, most of the urban areas, for sure. Well, lo and behold, lo and behold, according to the Washington Times, it has been revealed that one of the 12 jurors who convinced their Ch Ch Chauvin of murder attended a protest last summer for George Floyd. And George Floyd is the uh, unemployed drug addict that is dead. He did. And um, we have a picture of him wearing a Black Lives Matter shirt. And this picture has raised question on his impartiality. This guy's name is Brandon Mitchell has answered no. The black guys, according to the report, said no when asked if he had attended any search rally. You go to, before you get on a trial, they ask you all these kind of questions, right? And according to this report, the guy said no. And if it's true, he lied. This is from RT. Mitchell appeared on a morning radio show and said, that serving on juries is important if you want to see change. Watch this. You're talking to Brandon Mitchell. He was juror number 52 in the Derek Chauvin murder trial. Brandon, before we wrap, many people don't like jury duty and probably wouldn't respond to the letter that you get in the mail. So what message would you leave to those about saying yes to jury duty? I mean, it's, it's important. If we want to see some change, we want to see some things going differently, we got to get out there and get into these avenues and get in these rooms yeah. um, to, to try to spark some change. And that's Absolutely. one of the jury duties, one of the things. Jury duty, voting, all of those things are things we got to do. Amazing. Isn't that something? Everything the blacks touch, they destroy. Now you can't have a black on the jury because, especially if you're white. Or you a decent man or woman. They're not going to go with you. They're not going to do the right thing. They want to make a change. They're not there to determine if you're guilty or not. They want to make a change. Make it from good to evil. Tell me black people are not cursed. Okay. All right. Um. Can I ask you, I disagreed with you something about um, some black folks. You disagree? Uh, yeah, um, I'm originally from Brooklyn, New York. Are you uh, black? No, I'm Italian and Irish. But okay. I lived on uh, St. Mark's Avenue, uh -huh. and the blacks lived at the other half. Right. And Puerto Ricans and Italians lived on the other half. So what I'm saying is that from what I heard and from what I learned is that years ago that they used to bomb the black people's houses, you know, things like that. And that would cause a lot of little young black uh, kids to get PTSD. I mean, that's a lot of murder. So how long do you think it takes for, for all of them decades of the males getting put in jail, the fathers being put in jail over smoking a joint and... And then all of a sudden, these women are left, you know, to take care of their little children. I mean, don't you think after a while that somehow, you know, you have to understand that a, some black folks seen all these killings and all this stuff. And when do you say to yourself, all right, well, some of them do need to be on SSI. They, they need to be <laughs> on medication. And then... You know, go down the line and say, okay, um, and we're going to help them, you know, get out of uh, that kind of ghetto. That's what I'm saying. I'm not trying to, I'm not, and look, not everybody is stuck like the black folks that are rioting. A lot of those are, to me, paid rioters. 
Um, but and a lot of uh, black folks that you do see rioting from that neighborhood, in my opinion, have PTSD. They don't know <laughs> what else to do. They let don't me, know. Let me ask you, Dana, who told you that they, their house, their homes were bombed? Oh, I learned it in, uh, I took a, um, you know, a college course in uh, history, and I think it was in the 1800s, like, I think it was 18 or 1918, uh, they, the, the white people, I guess, they would bomb. But why did you believe? Homes. Why did you believe that? Because I seen it. I read it and I seen it. Pictures of it and. But suppose it's, it's a setup. It was a brainwashing technique. No, I never seen that. But well, suppose, I learned a lot in school. When they taught you that in school, school is it possible they could have been brainwashing you? No, I. I seen it. I seen the pictures, everything. No, right, it but college. is it is it possible that that was part of the brainwashing technique? No, I just think that. Why uh, do you say no? Because I learned it. I didn't learn this in uh, regular public school. I learned this in college. But that's even worse. That's. No, it, it, I should have learned this in school. And indentured slaves, I never even knew about indentured slaves. And the indentured slaves don't even know about indentured slaves. I, that's another brainwashing well, thing. Well, my, my family, my mother's firstborn American. So my Italian grandfather, he came over and he first, you know, he, he wanted the American way. Then he sent for his uh, wife and my two uncles and my aunt and my mother. Let me ask you this, Dan, family. because of time. Let me ask you this. You don't think that it was possible that you were brainwashed when you were in school, right? Oh, in school? In, in little edu uh, elementary, yeah. How about, but when I'm I talking college, about college. Do you believe that you, you know, do you believe it's possible you could be brainwashed in college as well? No way. I don't think college is going to waste their time because it helps the black folks. It okay, me so let me ask you, let me ask you from. this, let me ask you this. They are teaching in college now that all white people are quote unquote racist simply because they're white. Do you believe that? Well, I think where I lived, I, I moved to the, uh, central uh, Missouri and uh, these white folks out here, they don't like me because I don't talk like them and I don't think like them. Are you and white? I'm, not racist. I'm Italian and Irish, but I'm not white enough for these people out here. So no, they're they teaching. Like they're teaching in school, college, and now the beginning of school, that all white people are racist simply because they're white. Do you believe that? I think uh, to me, uh, white, blue eyes, blonde hair, white skin are against me because my my skin does get dark, and I don't talk like them. I don't think like them, and I do believe so, they are racist. So do you? Out here. They are teaching that all white people are racist mm. simply because they are no. white. Do you believe oh, that? No, no, I'm not. I no, I like my black brothers and sisters. I like uh, all my all nationalities. Diana, they are yeah. teaching us in college. That all white people are racist simply because they are white. Do you believe no, that? I didn't learn that. I did not learn that. They are teaching it now. They weren't teaching it oh, when now? you. Yeah. Oh uh, well, I don't know, but I just know that. Do you believe I was it? You. Do you believe I it? it? I think it's a possibility. I think it is. You th it's a possibility that all white people are racist. No, no. Oh, no, I mean, I think that college could do it. I mean, look at that. You can't even trust college today with what you learn. Right. Do you smoke pot? No, I don't do any drugs. Okay. And one last thing. You have a question for me? I was just wondering, why can't you understand what a lot of these children in the ghettos have seen? seen in killings like if that was just normal like you think of what police see but this i do see that i do understand that they are seeing this because the parents are no good no but the parents are suffering from what happened to the grandfathers that were put that's in not jail true back in the 60s that's not true black parents and black people are killing one another because of the lack of more character yeah now i'm talking about years ago i grew well, up with diana Dad, I grew up on a plantation in Alabama under the Jim Crow okay. law. Why didn't that have happened to the blacks back then? Well, I don't 
know nothing over there, but I'm just going by New York, Brooklyn, New York. No, I'm not, there are black people who grew up in New York during that time, and they don't. They are not blaming white people. They are not blaming slavery. They are not blaming, and they are moving on with life. Why is it that those black people wasn't affected, but the black people today um, are affected? I think in New York, the eastern area, I think there's not enough real churches. And where you came from, you probably had real churches. <laughs> if black people had more character, if they believed in God in New York, would they, no, be, in, would they be in that situation they're in? No. Uh, I, I'm from so, New York, and, or, and I used to be Catholic. When so, I moved out here, I learned the real... I, I went and got baptized, and my family was against me because they're stuck with the Catholic stuff. Yeah. Diana, thank you for calling me. Call me again, all right? Okay, thanks. God, God bless you. Nice lady. Amazing. And don't forget to like, follow, tweet, subscribe, and share the Jesse Lee Peterson radio show, folks. We really appreciate it. We are at war. It is a spiritual battle for the soul of America. And it's going to take all of us to do it. 